My next thought is on autism and friendships. Sometimes some people say that, well, most of the time most autistic individuals also on the spectrum, we say we don't really have a lot of friends. I think, too, we don't really understand what friendship really is. So whenever we do find those individuals who do genuinely want to be friends with us, it's hard. We, we don't understand how to be friends. Um, not that we don't try, but sometimes I think the understanding has to come on both sides. Um, both the individual with autism and um, the individual without. So, um, like right now I'm struggling with a friend, understanding, you know, balancing the understanding he has a life, he has a job, he has his family. I have other friends who they don't have as much on their plate, but with this particular friend, of all the friends I do have, I consider him to be one of the closest friends I have. Certainly my first friend. Um, and the one that seems to be the most understanding and most accepting of me. Um, I have very few friends like that right now. Not that I don't want more, but, you know, I, I don't know, but it's hard. As understanding as I'm trying to be of him, sometimes I think he doesn't understand me. And I think that's where things get kind of hard for me in terms of making friends, developing friendships, growing in those friendships. I think that's where it gets hard for me. So sometimes, in light of that, I would rather be a loner. Because at least, at least then I don't feel like I can get hurt so much. But I think this only reiterates what most people in the spectrum feel. So, yeah.